Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Me, nothing much. <laughs> um, today, we are going to start off in our storage building that is close to my nanny's house. Um, this is where I keep all of my Halloween decorations, or holiday decorations. This is where I keep them. So when I talk about putting them in the building, this is the building that I'm talking about. And it is not climate controlled, so everything in here is not directly in the weather, but temperature wise, it is exposed. Me and my mom, we got down here one time and we went through a bunch of stuff over here where all them blue bins are. And we went through all of my decorations that, that got damaged in the boxes and everything and threw away a bunch of stuff and what I did keep, I put in totes and labeled the totes so I know what was what. So that's what all of this is. We just packed up all the stuff in trash bags and things like that. The stuff that I didn't want. And me and my husband are going to come in here and take off all of that trash that I got rid of. And then we're also going to dig out my rocking chair so I can bring it home and put it in the living room. I do want to say thank you to my third daughter. She's the one behind the camera. She's the one holding the phone and recording. She done a really good job and I am very thankful for her for doing that. I forgot my tripod. Also, if you are new here, hey, how are you? Welcome. If you are not new here, hey, how are you? Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm using that stick to knock down spider webs and everything. There are nooks and crannies and creases and crevices and cracks and whatever else you want to call them in this building that critters can get in and one of those are spiders. There's also snakes down here. Um, me and my daughter, we were down here one time in the summertime and there was a big black snake come up behind me on one of those, there's a piece of wood in there, it climbed up on that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I do not do spiders. Absolutely not. I can do a snake. Snakes don't bother me. But as far as spiders go, no. So, I'm taking this stick and just knocking all the spider webs down. And hopefully, praying that there's no spiders crawling on me that I don't know about. <laughs> So we're back home now. I'm showing you how dirty my laundry room is. <laughs> it's very dusty. So I will be wiping that off. I'll also show you my washing machine. This is what happens when I don't stay on my schedule, my laundry schedule. My clothes back up really fast. There's six of us. Laundry is going to back up very quickly. I don't have room for a bunch of laundry hampers. So I only have room for one and that's that one in the corner and we keep whites and pink towels in there and all the other clothes color clothes blue jeans go into the washing machine and when it gets full like this I have to take a bunch of it out to make a decent load because my washing machine is actually bigger than my dryer so I have to try to balance it at 
it out so that's what i'm doing here is taking some clothes out so i can make a decent size load to fit in my dryer so it doesn't overload my dryer and i ended up doing three loads of laundry and i only usually only do two loads of laundry on sundays and wednesdays All I'm doing here is just taking an all homemade all-purpose cleaner and a wash rag and just wiping down the dust. I don't know what that is on my dryer. I'm guessing that little wooden tray got stuck to it or something. I don't know. And some of the paint got stuck to the dryer. I tried to get it off and I just wasn't fooling with it. It's okay. Now I'm going to work on cleaning the rocking chair. So the rocking chair is actually real wood and it has some kind of sealer on it. So I wasn't sure how to clean it. So I had to do some Googling. The less harsh thing that I saw to clean this rocking chair with was just dish soap and warm water. It also said something about using pine saw, but I wasn't really sure it wasn't going to eat the sealer off of it. So I just went with a safe option. I did try to vacuum this stuff off and most of it I did. I was able to vacuum it off, but the rest of it I just took my little duster and knocked the dust off. And then I went in with my wash rag and my soapy water and washed it all down. I also had a dry rag because it said to go in after you wipe it down with water and dry it off so there's no water damage. I have had this rocking chair since I was about 15 or 16 years old and the name on there is actually my nickname that everybody likes to call me. Everybody in my family, me, my brother, my dad, my aunt, my uncle, everybody had a rocking chair made by my grandparents and everyone, every rocking chair had their name on it. And I don't know if I'm the only one that has their rocking chair. I'm not I'm not sure I know my grandparents have their rocking chairs um, but I'm not sure about all of the other ones but I love this rocking chair I haven't been able to put it into my house in a very long time it's been in storage for a couple of years so I'm super duper excited to be able to put it into my living room over there in the corner beside the TV I wanna wake up in the Y'all, if my mouth don't say it, my face surely will. So I was watching a YouTube video called The Unplanned Podcast, and they were talking about, or they had one of the Duggar sisters on there, and she was talking about some of the things that their family, you know, what she went through growing up, and 
wow. I encourage y'all to watch it on your own and form your own opinion. But yeah, my face, my face probably says it all. I mean, some of the things I couldn't believe, but you know, everyone grows up differently. And you know, but yeah, if you're interested, just watch it yourself and form your own opinion about that. After cleaning this rocking chair off, it was a big difference. Even my son was like, did you repaint this? And I was like, no, I just washed it off with soap and water. He was like, wow, it looks so good. So yeah, it was a very big difference. Um, it was very dirty, very dusty. And I also show you what the water looks like here in a minute.
While I finish cleaning my living room, down in the comments, tell me one thing that you were grateful for today. For me, I am grateful for therapy. Mental health is very important to me, so I'm very thankful for therapy. The first load of three loads is finished and ready, go, ready to go into the dryer. So I'm going to switch these clothes out and put on the second load of laundry. And then we're going to move on to repotting my plant. Um, I've had these plants for a little while now. I've been wanting to replant them. I just never took the notion to. But now that I've got that lamp out of that corner, I can put the hanging planter up there. That's where I've always wanted that planner thing, so it all worked out. The plant that come out of the flower pot is from my nanny and then the plant that come out of the clear glass vase is from my mother-in-law. I'm just going to reuse this soil that's in this flower pot because I don't know much about plants and that was the only soil I had on hand. If I see that the leaves or the plant isn't doing its best where it's at, then I will change it later. But for now, I'm going to put it over there in the corner and hopefully it will thrive over there. I'm so excited. I've always wanted one of these vines. Growing up, my dad had one in his kitchen 
and that thing it grew and grew and grew and he wrapped it around his kitchen and I don't know I just liked it so that's what I'm hoping that these will do and I can wrap it around my living room Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and die, your story's untold. Come take my hand and walk there with me. I know a place where we can be free. There is a light shining for you, guiding you. The first load of laundry is done drying so we're going to fold those but before we fold them I'm going to put the second load in the dryer to dry and then put on the third and last load of laundry. I did not wash the towels this day. I'm going to wash them a different day. Um, I think three loads of clothing was enough laundry for me. <laughs> so um, let's get these switched out and then work on folding that first load of laundry. Usually in between loads of laundry, I will fold mine and my husband's clothes and put them away. But because I had three loads of laundry to do, I decided to just stack them up until all of them were done. Also, all four of the kids have voiced that they prefer me to fold all the laundry and then have them come at the very end after everything's been washed. Um, it's easier on them. And I'm perfectly fine with that. If it works best for them, I'm okay with making that change. It doesn't hinder me. So after folding the laundry, we're going to move on into the laundry room. There have been um, holes and things in the walls that have been bugging me. A couple of you guys have pointed it out too. Um, it was just a matter of time, I guess. Just getting to it. Also, if you don't know like I didn't know um, the difference between spackling and sheetrock mud. I have patched holes before and I've always used spackling so I wasn't sure which one to use so I I looked it up and sheetrock mud is for bigger holes 
Um, sheetrock mud is stronger when it dries. It's stronger than spackling. Spackling is more for like nail holes and stuff in the wall. So here I am patching this hole in the bathroom door with sheetrock mud. And then I move on to the corner of the laundry room after I take down the vacuum cleaner. I patch those holes up with um, spackling. I take that vacuum cleaner down. It's a Dy Dyson vacuum cleaner. The battery doesn't hold charge. I have looked into replacing the battery and it's like $200 I think it was. I went on their website and found the replacement and to me it's just not worth it. I have another vacuum cleaner that works and I'm satisfied with it so I decided to take this off of the wall and throw it away. Finally, the last load of laundry. I am going to fold this up and then I'm going to put mine and my husband's clothes away. And that'll be the end of today's video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some kind of motivation and inspiration to get your house together. The little things is what matters. <laughs> so, if you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to share this with your mom and him. I'll see y'all Saturday. Bye.